I think the youth are the individuals who should serve as the reflection or the, the, the watchdog of the consciences of the older people. So when you have politicians who are making a mess of the system, it's the young people who should raise their voices to say, hey, we're here. And if you're supposed to leave Brazil to us, this is how we think it should be. But the question is, how are these young people going to engage it? You know, first, there's a lot of anger amongst the young people. Anger is good, but how do we express our anger? That's the question we need to answer. You know, I'm angry. We want to see change. So how are you express, expressing that anger? That's the first thing. The second thing, in order for young people to hold governments accountable or to, to do political activism, there is a need for them to have an understanding of where they find themselves. You can't smoke pot all day and not know what the hell is happening around you and just wake up one morning and say, I want change because you can't get a, a, a roll of pot. No. You have to have an understanding. You have to know first where you come from, where you are, and where you intend to go before you can start to talk about any of these things. So how educated, and when I say educated, I'm not saying going to school, but how much knowledge do you have about your social political structure, you know? And how, what do you know about it? Knowledge is power. Understanding where you find yourself is even greater power. So in order to be political activists, young people should be out there, but young people should first, how do I transmit how I feel? And then what do I know? And what do I want to change? You know, we have a, a, a joke in Monrovia that a group of young people went to protest and they were standing holding placards and the police was coming. And then one said to his friend, what do I have written on my paper? Because I see the police coming. And a friend said, I don't even know what I have written on my paper. So they had no idea why they were protesting. But because there was a group of protesters and they were idle, they just got into the group. You do not want young people to be that way. You have to know, this is why I'm doing this and this is why I'm doing that. If you go back to the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, he understood the socio-political dimension of the of the people, the black people, and the way the politics was working against them, Mandela, and all of those great men and women, Gandhi, all of these people who were great people, they were not just haphazard people. They would sit and read, they could understand. Even those who were not highly educated had an understanding of this is what we need, this is what is working against us, and this is how we need to engage it. And I think that is what is important for young people engaging in political activism.